Hi, I'm Matt Darcy. I'm the Viola Professor at Winthrop University. And today we're going to be looking at the uh, grades 9 and 10 audition excerpts for the SCMEA uh, regional um, auditions. The first piece is the Irish Folk Melody Etude. And what they're really going for here is the Martelé stroke, which is the grab and release stroke. So you're going to want to really get a nice grip on the string and then let it go. This piece is also it got this, the same rhythm across the entire thing, so you're really going to make sure that you have a nice rhythm, uh, a steady rhythm, to get the nice feel of an Irish folk song. The next piece that we have um, is the menuet from the Bach Anna Magdalena notebook. Um, this piece is really going for the B minor key, so we really want to make sure that our A sharps are nice and close to our B to have a nice pull towards the B to make it a nice darker sound. Um, other things you want to keep in mind with the Bach piece like this is the lightness of the bow. You don't want to be too on the strings. We're going for a dance. We're not going for a uh, really, uh, really heavy sort of war dance, but it's a nice dance that people would have danced in a, in a castle. Um, so here's the the Bach from the Anna Magdalena notebook. So now we're going to talk about the 11-12 aud audition music. Uh, the etude that we have for 11 and 12 is from Wolfhard. And this whole etude is really about your phrasing and your musicality and how you use your bow. So you're going to want to be really careful and make sure that you know exactly where you are in your bow at any given time to make sure that you're making maximum use of your bow. Um, and really paying attention to the crescendi and the decrescendi to really maximize the uh, phrasing. So here's the Wolfhard, um, opus 45, number 42.
the solo piece for 11 and 12 is the Courant from the third suite by uh, Bach. Um, the Courant um, is from the French word for running, which kind of gives you an indication of how this piece is to be played. Um, the entire piece is mostly running eighth notes, so you want to make sure that the rhythm is fairly steady uh, throughout to give a nice dance feel to it. Um, other things to watch out for are all the string crossings. There's a lot of passages in here where you're playing two different lines on two different strings, so you really want to make sure that each time you're playing that, you really move your arm well enough to clear all the strings that are in between. Um, the bowings that I'll be playing are from the sheet that you were given, but with Bach, there are many various editions that have fantastic bowings, so I really encourage you to do a little bit of research and find a bowing that really works for you to give you um, the best of or to, that, that gives you the phrasing that you uh, really want for, for this piece. <laughs> Thank you. 